Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Doug Live here with another bomb video. Today's video is the retro card duplication glitch for people who do not have the blue circle. First thing you're going to need is two apartments in Del Perro, Tel Perro, which is right across from Mays Bank West. It doesn't matter which two apartments you have, just you have to have two apartments. And you want to get a, uh, one of your motorbikes and place them in the garage of one of these apartments. As you're going to see, I'm going down now to get my motorbike to bring it to the front of Mays Bank West. Um, the other thing you're going to need, you can go in an invite only session and you're going to need a friend to help. Um, okay, so right now, as you're going to see, I'm hopping on my Diablis. I'm going to take that to the front of Mays Bank West. Okay. And I'm going to park it by the front stairs. Then I'm going to go into remote functions. And I'm going to turn the motorbike on and leave it on when I go inside. Okay. Here we go. Take it out front here. I'm going to move this woman out the way. Excuse me, lady. Sorry I'm in your way. Then I'm going to get off the bike. I'm going to turn the bike on. Okay, to get back into it, you're going to also have to have your vehicle set up the same way. Uh, your friend uh, just wants to go. Uh, well, I'll get into that in a minute. First, you're going to turn the bike on as you just see. My friend now is he's waiting over at the Los Santos Customs. Um, which is in the center of the map, the one by Eclipse Towers. He's going to wait outside there. He's going to start up Titan of a Job. Once he's ready and he starts the job up, he's going to let me know. So he started the job up. I'm going to go into the blue circle. I'm going to join him. All right. Actually, I'm going to move some cars around first because I had some cars that I need to switch around. But... You want to have the car, you want to duplicate in spot six, an LG in spot five, and LGs in the rest of the spaces if you only want to do one car. If you want to do more than one, you need uh, LGs, retros in spot six, and you also need an LG in spot five. So I sent my friend an invitation to my garage. He is sitting in the parking lot of LS Customs. So I'm just waiting for him to start up the job. Any moment now, you'll see I, I should get an automatic invitation. Sometimes you don't. So I'm just going to wait on him. He's just going to start the job up. And then what's going to happen is once he starts the job up, I'm going to join it. It's going to tell me that it's a private session. It's going to spit me back out. My vehicle management screen will be open in the right-hand corner. Okay, here we go. I'm going to join him. Go to online. Go down to players, find his name, which is Ger Gerald G. Without him, I would not have uh, any help in this video. So a big shout out to Gerald G. It says, I'm uh, sure you want to join a G different GTA online session. Progress will automatically be saved. So I'm just waiting on him now. And yeah. Anyways, if you're a new subscriber, hit that little bell next to my name. For all the latest, greatest uh, GTA videos put out there. So yeah. Anyways, once he starts, the, once he does the job, I'm gonna join. Then it's gonna say it's private. It's gonna spit me back out. My friend. Then he is going to go into Los Santos Customs, right? By driving in, hitting start on the start menu, and then you can drive around inside the Los Santos Customs. You just don't want to hit right on the D-pad. Now, now that my interaction menu is open, I'm going to go behind slot number four, which is the uh, retro custom. Okay, and I'm going to get there. I'm going to turn my guy around and make him look at the wall. And as soon as I move cars four to five, or three to four, and then five to six, I'm going to tell him to go. So we're ready, and I'm going to tell him to accept the invitation as soon as I move the first two cars. So three to four. Then I tell him to accept the invite. So right now he's just getting ready. So I'm ready. I have my arrow already set on car three. Then I have it confirmed on car four. All right. And as soon as he's ready to go, I'm going to hit A. And then I'll tell him to accept the invitation. So I'm just waiting on him now. So yeah. Anyways, like and subscribe. I'm going to be uh, putting out more videos. I'm just getting used to all this. But I appreciate all the views people helping me.
that would be great. So anyways, still waiting on him. So I had to do a quick little transition, make you speed it up a little bit. So I'm just waiting for him to tell me that he's ready. As soon as he tells me he's ready with my invitation on his phone, already open, all he has to do is hit A once to accept. So as soon as I move three to four, then I'm going to tell him to accept the invite, and then I'm going to move five to six. I'll move five to the car five and six, but you physically won't see them move, but on the list, they will have moved. In spot six, it'll say uh, uh, Elegy RH8, and it'll say the retro custom is in slot five. But my friend will see the, L uh, the retro in slot six. That's how you know it worked. So, just waiting on him. But yeah, without uh, Jareth G helping me in this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to him. Zazar, not, uh, oh shoot, wrong video. Anyways, but I'd like to give a shout out to, you know, check these guys out. Zazar909. Bray Train, what the fudge? Uh, Brun Tango and Brun Tango 2.0. Yeah, get them, check them out. They're great YouTubers. And yeah, they always have. Oh, and your sheriff. I didn't mean to forget the sheriff. And your sheriff, the gamer. They're all great YouTubers. Check them out along with myself. I'm just trying to grow the community. So, anyways, as soon as my friend is ready, which he's taking an awful long time, but as soon as he's ready to go, I will tell him. To accept the invitation. Okay, still waiting. Hold on. So here we go. I tell him to go right now. And see, they physically they didn't move. Then I come out. I get on the bike as fast as I can, but don't go too fast. I drive around here, over to Del Perro. And if you do everything correctly, you'll make it into the garage. Hit spam A to get in. And your friend should be looking at a black screen. And eventually I'll get into my garage and he'll be in my garage. Right now he's telling me that he sees a retro in slot six. So the glitch has worked. So I hop on my bike, drive it back outside. I order a retro, a free elegy from Legendary Motorsports. I bring up my vehicle management screen. And as you're going to see here in a second, the, Ella, the RH8 is in spot six. Okay. We go to Legendary, sort by price, Anus Elegy, pick any color, order it, order it to uh, the garage that you were in, and as it shows, there's the Elegy ARH8 in spot 6. So you order that over spot 6, you drive your bike back to the same spot you had it in to get ready to do another one. Then you just wait outside for the bike to arrive. Once the bike, once the V, I mean, once the car arrives, the notification arrives telling you that the car has been delivered, then you can go back inside and, uh, yeah, you have yourself one duplication. Uh, yeah, like that, right? I don't know why he wants to hump the bike, but hey, you know, to each his own. But yeah, without you guys, there would be no YouTube. Without you subscribers, you guys are the backbone of this community. Yeah, and I'm just a new subscriber. I'm just a new YouTuber just getting started. And I found a lot of great YouTubers out there. Braid Train, What the Fudge, Rune Tango, uh, Sheriff the Gamer, Dead Game and Live, Sazar909, I'm Lost, Sinful Gamer. There's lots of them. All of us are great. We all work together. And you know what? I've learned a lot from watching their videos. So y'all could probably like and subscribe their videos as well. You know what I mean? Go see them. Check them out. They all, they all do live streams. They all put out the best glitches out there. So, yeah. You guys, uh, enjoy the video and have a great day. Until next time, peace out.